So, you got your hands on the new drag DLC for Car Mechanic Simulator 21. Uh, to be honest with you guys, I built this car a couple of months ago for, so to say, drag racing and just to make a lot of power on the dyno. And you know what's pretty cool with this new DLC? We can actually tune the car's ECU. Unlike real life where a tuner will sit here on the seat pressing a few buttons on the laptop, um, now the laptop is there at the back. <laughs> so let's quickly go to it and we have got three options. The first one is your gear ratio, which we are not going to focus on. The third one is for your carburetor tuning. We're also not going to do that. And we're only going to focus on the ECU tuning for this video. So as you guys can see over here, this is what you want. You want to see all five of these graphs at plus six. Green all the way to the top. Even your tuning say play uh, plus 16. So what I'm going to do is I'm sadly going to go and mess it up. But for the sake of this video, uh, we're just going to press literally go crazy on the arrow keys. Uh, get a little bit car sick and ocean sickness and motion sickness over here. But <laughs> all right. As you can see now, our tuning is at 0%. So obviously, if we have to dyno our car now, it's not going to do as good. For the sake, let's quickly put it on the dyno and just show you guys what the end result is. And here is our result. So this is with plus zero. So basically no tuning, 212 horsepower and 251 Newton meters. If we quickly go here to the tuning, um, I actually, you'll, you'll actually notice that it looks a bit differently now because I went out without applying. So I had to come back and mess it up again. So how this works is, um, I just actually want to just mess it up a little bit more. Um, there we go. So even though it's still 0%, and there's actually a pattern you got to do this in. So sometimes you'll be lucky, you'll get it the first shot. Other times you'll actually struggle a little bit. So the goal is, is to try and first get two of these graphs to balance out. So basically what I'm saying is if we have got a zero here, somewhere we're going to try and get another zero. Or not zero to say, but at least to have the same digits. So if we've got a three, we need to get somewhere else another three. So we're going to go to any random one. Let's go to zero. We're going to drop the graph, drop it again. And oh, that's perfect. You see right over here, we got two plus sixes. Like I, like I say, sometimes you're lucky and sometimes you're not lucky. <laughs> so now that we have got two of these graphs, we're going to try and get a third graph to match these two graphs. So that means obviously we're going to go to a different graph. We're just going to go to this one and increase the number just because we can. And, oh, there we go. Perfect. Two, two, two. Now that we have got that, we're going to try and get a fourth one to mix with the other three blocks. So we're just going to go to uh, any one of these two. We're just going to go to this plus five. We're going to drop it. Uh, let's see what's going to happen. And perfect. I know, I know this sounds weird that I'm saying perfect because it's minus one, minus one, minus one, minus one. But that's what you want. You want four of these graphs to actually mix up. So now that we have got that, we're going to go to the last one and we're just going to drop it. We're going to drop, drop, drop. And perfect. They are matching up. But there's a problem. They are matching up and it's not six. So all of them are plus three. So if you get to this point, it doesn't matter how many times you actually drop it, you won't get your plus six. So in other words, this is one of the times where you're not so lucky and you basically got to mess everything up again and try again. So this is like a tr uh, trial and error. You're going to keep on doing it until you get everything at six. So to make this video just a little bit shorter, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to try to see if I can fast forward a little bit just to give you guys uh, to just to make sure that you guys don't stitch here forever. And I think I might actually have it now. Let's quickly press arrow down and perfect. So it took me a minute, but we actually got it completed. So um, I kind of forgot what our previous score was. Um, I, but I think, yeah, we will see quickly the difference. I do hope I pressed apply.
Okay, so there we go. We are at 261 horsepower and 310 newton meters. I can't remember where we were. Uh, maybe what I'll do is I'll just put somewhere here on the screen where we were before. But I know we were not at 310 newton meters. And I think we were at 220 something. But as you guys can see, we did gain actually a lot from this. Oh my word. That fans are very loud. So once again, this is what you want to see at the end of the day. It's going to be a trial and error. It's going to... It's not going to work the first time always. You're just going to keep messing it up. Keep on trying it. Try to get two graphs together. Then a third one. Then a fourth one. And hopefully the fifth one will just be at the right place. Anyway, guys, there we go. I do hope this tutorial helped you out a lot. And now you can go and have a lot of fun. If you guys did find this video useful, entertaining, or just boring, please make sure to drop a big like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.